All right, in this video, it's just a uh, part two of the HDP. Um, I can't really do the full video for this because I don't have any of those little eight gram CO2s. Um, I've got to order some, but right now I've got the brass barrel in and that's designed for the larger steel balls. And unfortunately, all I have is the little Umarex rubber balls and like they're already way smaller than the Florian's uh, tuning run barrel and the factory barrel. So I'm not going to get a full power. I'm not going to shoot the steel bearings in out of this yet because I still have to do a mod before I can do that inside. The steel balls are designed for this barrel and this would give the best results. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I just I can't do that right now. But just to see of an idea, I, I don't think we got much over 20 joules with this. Uh, with CO2 and no barrel. So I just want to see if this is going to make any... Actually, well, I can't really, but I just want to see if I can get the numbers above that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to start with 1100 HPA. And unfortunately... Where is it here? I'm not sure if you guys can see it there, but I kind of set something heavy on this and it kind of bent it in, but... I pushed it as best I can, but I really don't think it's going to matter too much because the rubber balls are way, this inner, this inner diameter is way larger than the, the rubber ball. The rubber ball is like the smallest diameter of all, pretty much the ammo I've ever found. Um, so yeah, uh, let me see here. I'll get this set up. Put the camera here. Uh, oops. Um, let me see. If I can do this without it shutting off, that'd be great. Um, okay, looks like we're all right there. Um, Alrighty. Yeah, this marker here has a. It's just like the HDP 50. It has a cheap. It's got a cheap rubber detent in there. And uh, when the steel balls hit it, it just shreds it all to pieces and takes chunks off it and blows out the barrel. But I'm going to do a similar mod that I did with my HDP 50s to, to get rid of that. And yeah, eventually I'll get around to it. I got so much stuff and mods and projects here I want to get done, but it's just crazy to get and find the time to do it all. Um, yeah, okay, here, let's get this choreograph on. All right, 1100 PSI. This is the six hour bottle you get. Um, I got four rubber balls and let's gas this up. There we go, we got a click. I don't know what's gonna happen with this, but let's find out here. Here. Eight hundred and three. Eight thirty two. Oh, something happened there. One sixty. All right, I believe that's four rounds. Yep. Ungas this. Fire the last shot out. And we press it. But yeah, I don't know if you can see it a little bit better. Here. Right about right about there, there's a little dent in the barrel. Where I 
clumsy drop something up while I set something on it. But yeah, this diameter is pretty big. Let me see if I can find one of those. Okay. Let's see if I can just turn it over here. Anyways, not enough light back here. But uh, yeah, there it is. HPA 1100. I'm going to redo this again when I fix up the, get rid of that detent. And yeah, we should get a lot better results. But a rubber ball at 800 FPS. I can tell you one thing. I sure wouldn't want to be standing in front of it. <clears throat> yeah. Now. And yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I got this, I posted this before, but I've got the SMG 22 that I'm going to be doing a video of that next. Um, it's a full auto 22 caliber. Uh, pellet rifle and it slings about 12 13 rounds per second um this thing is a beast it can be modified to be lethal and it can be and uh yeah you can get it to where it's non-lethal and i got mine set just under 500 fps it's set at preset at and 12 needle pointed pellets or darts coming at you or slugs whatever at 490 um at that fast yeah i don't see anybody resisting and it, it, that's just w crazy um especially with those pointed ones <clears throat> but yeah anything over 500 fps requires a license in canada so um i mean there's exceptions and our laws are really black and white because of weights and stuff like that but like, yeah, if you put, like, a half-gram ball in a T3 gun, it's going to be over every time. But, anyways, this is for another video. But comes with 100-round belt, belt-fed drums. These are the 100-round, or you can join as many as you want together. I don't know what these bottles PSI are, but the higher your PSI is, the more power you get out of this. These were tuned for Canada, this marker and kit, so... I'd imagine the PSI on these would be very low. I don't even know if it's 800 to be honest. But yeah, there's a a full 100, 200 round belt I put together. They just snap together as many as you want. And that's a thing to load it. And yeah, that's coming next guys. But I think you guys should like that one. It's just an absolute monster. But anyways, once again, you guys take care and be well.